Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Very good afternoon to three Saroja. What day is today? Today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. <coughs> How are you? I am fine, thank you. Uh, today we will learn about a story. We learn the value. We learn how to read it <coughs> from page 92 in your textbook and page 93. It's about the cub. The cub. Are you ready? Okay. The cub. The cub ni maksud dia anak beruang. Bukannya kita panggil the beer baby. Tak, bahasa Inggeris, uh, setiap anak dia ada nama special, nama yang khas. For example, uh, cat. Bila ada baby cat, kita tak panggil dia baby cat. Kita panggil dia kitten. Kitten. Okay. Kalau kangaroo, nama anak dia bukan bukannya dipanggil baby kangaroo, panggil joey. Sama juga kes dengan ni. Beruang. Bear. Bear. The young. We will call it. Uh, cub. Cub. Okay. Anak beruang. Jadi tajuk dia sini. Anak beruang. Tengok tapak tangan dia. Okay. Uh, I will read. You listen. And you can read after this. Okay. In December. Norman and Lisa. Went on a winter holiday with their parents. It was very cold and Norman was hungry all the time. Saya ulang lagi sekali lagi ya dari awal. In December, Norman and Lisa went on a winter holiday with their parents. It was very cold and Norman was hungry all the time. Saya terangkan. In December, pada bulan Disember, Norman dan Lisa ni, diorang pergi cuti musim sejuk. Winter. Kita pernah belajar kan? Winter. Cuti musim sejuk with their parents. Dengan mak ayah dia. Bercuti musim sejuk. Tengok dekat luar ni ada. Ada snow, ada pokok pine. Tengok pun tahu sejuk. Dia pakai baju tebal. It was very cold. Dia cakap sangat sejuk tempat tu. Norman was, and Norman was hungry all the time. Macam kita juga. Bila kita rasa sejuk, ada orang, bila rasa, dia bila sejuk, dia suka makan. Dia rasa cepat lapar. Ini kesnya dengan Norman. Norman was hungry all the time. Lapar je, asyik lapar je Norman ni. It isn't snowing. Let's go up. Lisa cakap eh. Lisa say. It isn't snowing. Let's go up. Cakap tak, tak bersalji pun jom keluar. Dia cakap. Dia ajak Norman. Adik dia ke. Mungkin adik dia dia lelaki. <coughs> Picture number two. One day, Norman and Lisa found a cave in the mountains. It was very big. One day, Norman and Lisa found a cave in the mountains. It was very big. Okay, one day, satu hari, Norman and Lisa found a cave. Dia nak jumpa satu gua di dalam gunung. In the mountain. Mountain ni gunung. It was very big. Dia cakap, besar. Gua tu besar. Tengok sini. Ah, a big black monster. Ah, a big black monster. Dia cakap, ada raksasa warna hitam yang besar. <coughs> Picture number three. But, it wasn't a monster. In the cave, there was a small cub. But it wasn't a monster. In the cave, there was 
a small cup. Lisa said. Kalau dia cakap kan saya terangkan. Tapi sebenarnya bukannya raksasa. Bukan raksasa eh. Dalam gua tu ada anak beruang yang kecil. Lisa said, "Look, it can walk." Look, it can walk. Tengok, dia tak boleh berjalan. Yang ni, Norman pun cakap, Let's take it to the vet. Let's take it to the vet. Jom bawa pergi Dr. Haiwan. <coughs> Number four. The children went to the vet. Budak-budak ni tadi, Diorang dah sampai ke nenek Haiwan. Don't worry, it's fine now. Doctor dah balukkan dah kaki dia. Don't worry, it's fine now. Jangan risau, dia dah okay sekarang. Can we? Normal pun tanya, can we keep it? Boleh tak kita orang pelihara lah, macam simpan. Tapi, doktor tu tak bagi sebenarnya. Norman and Lisa listen to the vet. The cup was quiet. Norman and Lisa listened to the bed. The cup was quiet. Norman dengan Lisa ni, dia dengar cakap doktor. The cup ni was quiet diam-diam je. The bed say, no, take it to its mother. No, take it, take it to its mother. Tak, jangan simpan dia cakap. Bawa lah anak burung ni jumpa mak dia. <coughs> Macam awak juga. Takkanlah orang nak ambil awak dari mak awak. Mesti awak marah kan? Eh, mesti mak awak marah juga. Mesti mak awak cari. Sama juga macam binatang. Okay, number six. The children took the cup back to the cave. The children took the cup back to the cave. Let's... Uh, dia cakap, budak-budak ni letak balik uh, nak beruang tu dekat gua. Let's wait for the cubs mother here. Let's wait for the cubs mother here. Dia cakap, jom kita tunggu mak dia dekat sini pula. Number seven. The mother bear came, picked up the cub and took it into the cave. The mother bear came, picked up the cub and took it into the cave. The children were very happy. The children were very happy. Mak, mak beruang ni tadi datang. Dia ambil anak dia. Dia buat masuk ke dalam. Dan budak ni pun very happy. Sangat gembira. Tengok Norman. Before the end of the story. I'm hungry now. Let's go home. Dia cakap. Eh lapar lagi. Saya dah lapar sekarang. Jom balik. Dia ni asyik lapar je. Okay. The value. <coughs> Respect. And protect wild animals. Respect and protect wild animals. Hormatilah haiwan-haiwan liar. Jangan sakiti haiwan liar. Dan lindungilah diorang ni. Diorang ni dah tak banyak. Okay. Saya, kalau awak pula, kalau awak jumpa ular, jangan pula awak tangkap bawa pergi nenek haiwan. Itu lain. Sebenarnya yang diorang buat ni, bahaya. Dangerous. Tapi dalam cerita ni nampak tak ninja sebenarnya bahaya. Anak beruang pun garang. Boleh bunuh orang. Mak dia ni lagi bolehlah mencederakan orang. Okay. <coughs> Hari ni tugas dia awak baca je ni. Yes, baca. Okay. Nampak baca sampai sini dah lah. Okay. Tak ada kerja rumah. Okay, class. Thank you. That's all for today. See you again on Monday.